Hey guys, how is everyone? Hello Eddie, hello Zaira, Binte Hussein. That looks awesome. Yeah, it's what we are going to be recreating in Blender. First thing, first, did you watch? Yeah, I did. It was very fun, man. It's, it was very fun. Uh, if you're talking about uh, the... What was it? T'Challa. T'Challa's version of uh, uh, Stallion. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was actually very, very entertaining. Yeah, so we are starting the live stream. And uh, today we are going to be creating uh, this uh, this uh, scene here from Quicks Omega Sun. Hello, Ramesh. Hello, Nath Films. Hello, Jiwon Kim. How is everyone doing? Uh, you can uh, please let me know if the audio is good and... Uh, if everything is great where you are, but uh, it seems everything is fine. So let's jump into Blender and start working. Uh, this time around, I didn't forget to, I did remember to add uh, the shortcuts. Uh, so you're going to be seeing them uh, there in the left corner. Let me just make sure. Okay, my image gets, make sure the image is loaded in correctly like so. Yeah, so you guys can tell me about your days. How is everything going? Uh, remember the Discord. If you want to share some of the renders you have made yourself, you can uh, share them directly there. Uh, just so we can look at what you guys have done. Uh, so let's first examine and uh, quickly break down how this scene looks. Uh, if you go to the link that I've provided, you will see uh, what we are going to try to make here. And uh, the good thing is that uh, they are... Hey, Shaydan, Shaydan, uh, glad to see you back. Uh, the, so in the link, you see that uh, they have provided uh, some reference images, about 30 reference images uh, that we can use uh, to make the scene. So you can see it's a very well detailed scene. And uh, I've already also collected some textures that we are going to be using uh, for the scene. So we don't have to worry too much. So we are going to be using basic textures. Uh, you can see I've downloaded them already so that uh, we can just dive in. Uh, nothing here is too complicated, so we're going to make, I think, this room and then make an interior like this with this. Uh, and if you go to the render, you can see how everything looks up. So let's dive in and uh, get started. I'm going to be a little bit faster on this one. But uh, yeah, if you're just getting here, just uh, leave a like uh, if you, yeah, just so we can get this live stream out uh, to few people out there so yeah let's start with uh, just so usually a room like this uh, is a uh, three meters is sorry is it three yeah it's about three meters high but uh, because these are high ceilings I'm going to make it about the four meters so we can start by creating a wall uh, that is uh, that height just for reference then we can extrude off uh, the flow and uh, just create the layout uh, that we want. So the Discord link is not working, is it? Uh, let me just create an invitation link. Copy. Um, paste there. Uh, you can try that out. Try that one. So, I usually like to start with flows. Uh, they make it seem much easier. So, uh, this is what we have. And uh, this is going to be three, four meters high. Uh, for the, yeah, four meters high. And uh, then another four meters uh, for the second floor where the steps are going. And uh, the steps are going to be, the steps themselves are going to be in the middle here. Yes, it's working. Great. Thank you. Okay, so the steps are just going to be around two meters, something like that in the middle. I'm not going to be too accurate with the steps uh, in terms of uh, their measurements. So how has your day's day been? If you 
SC is going to extrude I'm just creating a base just blocking out at the seam just a bit actually I like using constant offset uh, because it allows you to make changes without affecting uh, the look of the array and, uh, it shouldn't be one meter Okay, let me make sure my measurements are right. Four meters. Okay. Seems now we can extend this. This steps go halfway in and then I think you have let me just set up my camera really quick. Use 25 for a wider angle. Have some ambient occlusion factor of one. Just I think I can scale them just a bit in like that. Hello Snippero Gaming, I'm um, sorry you should only be using English because uh, that's what most of us understand here and uh, yeah, it would be amazing for everyone to be able to understand what you're saying. It's going to duplicate this 180 degrees. So this should be are we going to come back and and start detailing things? For now, we're just blocking out uh, the scene. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? How are you doing? Nah. No. If you're looking close, so these steps just stop around here. Then, yeah, if you had that, that's, that is my damn phone. It's uh, like uh, the opposite of a smartphone. When I don't want to be distracted uh, doing something and I don't want to be distracted by social media, that's what I do. Use that. So that I can uh, stay concentrated, but uh, I don't know who's sending me a message right now. Kind of. Thanks for all the tutorials. Hi, you're welcome, man. Thanks for watching. This is going to be our flow. And uh, you can always look at uh, the references here. Just so you see how this uh, kind of works. Okay, so I think they changed it a bit. It doesn't really look as uh, the reference, but uh, that's uh, okay. We're not also going to make it look exactly like the reference. And I think uh, they also have a wall. Actually, these steps, I think, start on the second floor around here here so that means uh, that uh, this would have to either we have to make it a little bit higher I see make our steps longer somewhere like that and then pull this back a bit By the way, you guys can also suggest the kind of live streams you want to watch and uh, if you watch enjoying these uh, kind of step-by-step -step videos. Why don't you start with the mega, mega scan assets? Uh, yeah, because I want to make like a, a tutorial of 
a, a beginner's tutorial and uh, just using these mega scan assets uh, is not really teaching a lot uh, because you, uh, the textures are already done for you the models are already done for you and uh, the under the what yeah uh, and uh, mo and even more importantly uh, because I usually share my work with uh, artists with other people and I also put them up for sale on CG Trader by the way where you can buy some of the models and also have them on my patreon page uh, which is like selling uh, yeah I can't use a mega scans assets uh, because then that will be like a copyright infringement uh, since I'm, I'll be selling them on other pages, other websites. So I try to make everything by myself so that I'm able to sell it and uh, share it with uh, my Patreons or with the community without infringing on, uh, yeah, that. Uh, so, um, what was I forgot what I was doing, but uh, yeah, I think we can start working on, on some se textures and uh, just so we can easily see the interior. Or what we are working on uh, what we are going to do is uh, first let me split this so that this is uh, the outliner we're just going to separate some of these walls uh, we want to separate the ceiling and I just section them off I'm just going to select all of them and I put them into uh, collection uh, into our walls collection I call this back wall and uh, this is going to be sailing sailing and uh, actually this should be sailing and then this here front wall so I can just hide them for now. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing? Okay. I think we can start detailing these now. Let me first hide uh, the front wall for a second. Look at the materials. Let's go to use my asset library. See if I have any materials, wood materials here. But, uh, uh, today I want to show you how to actually create mat PBR materials from a single image. So let's get something. Uh, let's create this wooden flow. Let's see if we have a decent material we could use here. Uh, this is a very small texture, but uh, I'll just create a new material. So far, so good. Ah, thank you. Baik of Siwa. So, where where exactly are you from? Ah, let's see. Let's see. Look at uh, some resources. I want wood, and I have a few wood textures here, and uh, we're just going to blend them to create a good material that uh, we could work with. So let's see if I start with this I'm going to UV unwrap this smart projection you can see that uh, the resolution is a bit low so I can uh, since this is a tiling texture uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem from Indonesia are there a lot of uh, blender artists there in Indonesia and uh, this is this goes to anyone else uh, are there is, th is there a big blender community in your country? Uh, because uh, in mine, uh, there isn't a lot of uh, blender artists. It's only a handful of people I know. Maybe uh, they're just hiding out in their homes. Uh, exactly what I'm doing as well, because I rarely go out. 90 degrees. You can see this is also a low resolution image uh, with some seams. But uh, if we blend this together, there's some, but not too many. Ah, yeah, same, same with me. There, there are not a lot of Blender artists in my country. I wanted to do something like, uh, how is it called? A meetup, but uh, I couldn't find a lot of them. Maybe I didn't just 
uh, put out a good call maybe I don't know and uh, I think I would have known who they are if uh, they existed yes yeah, so so we have blended uh, these two materials to create a new one uh, which is which is going to be a little bit more detailed uh, with a more yeah with more rich details and uh, I'm also going to use you can see because it's old wood uh, there is that kind of dirt effect so what I can do is add a car ramp use a car ramp and uh, Okay, so uh, let me just check my audio. Okay, uh, we're going to use this to create some kind of uh, dart on the flow. Where am I from? I'm from Uganda, that's in East Africa. Okay, so this is going to be our mask and uh, we can use another mix node. Bring this as a factor. And uh, we can now use, uh, let me see, mix. We can create, use a color here. Uh, let's see. Just need to have quite a lot of contrast. Uh, this is going to be like dirt stains on the surface and uh, we can make them uh, the color we want. Like that. They don't see, let's see this. If I make them something like that, and then ah, that's why your accent is too African. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, if you know where that uh, Uganda Knuckles meme came from, that I guess that's the country. Uh, that's that's what you would know my country for about, I think. Uh, so uh, this is going to be also our texture, as it's going to act as our roughness. But right now you can see things are very shiny. What you can do to avoid that or to reduce on the shininess, you can use another mix node here, but change this to mix. And now you can, this the this color two is going to be our max roughness and uh, color one is going to be whatever roughness we get from here. Now we can just blend uh, the two to make it less rough or very reflective. And uh, if you want to even make it, make it even more detailed, you can get a, a grunge map texture like uh, like these ones here. I like these because they are kind of like uh, uh, mopping stains. So they look kind of like that. It's a bit uh, too large. So let's scale it down a bit like that. And I can blend it with this but I don't want it to blend with it into, uh, let's see, let's see what is happening here. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. And uh, now this can be, yeah. Okay, now this looks okay, except we have this color that I don't want in. So I can get it rid of it. I think this is B. Okay, I'm getting confused a bit here. Let me just expand this so that I can look at my nodes more clearly and uh, understand them better. So what I don't want this is to 
be providing any, any color data. So it should be like this. So this mixes with this and uh, this gives us the color. Uh, this gives us the roughness. And uh, finally we get something like this, but uh, we have a lot of this. So I'm just going to, okay. I think it's supposed to be this. Yeah, I think uh, this uh, works, but uh, we might need, we need a vector to add some displacement. So I'm just going to use uh, this here as our displacement or bump map. Are you learning about sculpt, sculpting too or just modeling? I don't really do sculpting. Uh, yeah, because uh, I don't know, I just don't find it very interesting. I don't just find it interesting enough. So it seems like a lot of hard work, so I don't do it. Let's see, this is interior, interior wooden scene. Let's see if I can invert this. So we still have a lot of detail in our bump map. So to reduce that, I can add a color ramp. Yes, reduce the detail. like that, or just make them. Less detailed like that. So we have something like that for our wall. I'm also going to play with this overlay color so that uh, we see what. And uh, we can also affect the overall color by adding an overlay up here, just change the tone a bit. Uh, so this is going to be our material. And since I've spent quite a good time on this, I can also just save the material for later. So I'll just call this wooden material into my asset library. Just do a render preview and save it so that I can use it later. Now, this is what we have so far. I think our steps are a bit wide uh, a bit uh, small and uh, it should be around this size and now let's start detailing them so since we already have this material uh, for the wood I can link it and uh, let me undo sorry and you unwrap this using cube projection like that But uh, you can see the tiling is a bit too much and uh, the texture is also not what I want. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this and I switch out some of these. I don't want these wooden planks, uh, so I'm going to switch out them with a different material. Uh, so let's see something. Let me go back to my, let me look for uncategorized. I think I just, these are some of other materials I've just downloaded. Now let me look at this. So it's rotated in the wrong direction. Let me first get this 90 degrees. Now the issue with this is that uh, it's uh, being repeated quite a lot. Uh, so there are a few things you can do. If you're using the array modifier in the UVs, you can play with the offset UV. And I think this gives us some good randomization. Uh, can also amplify it by using this, which works actually more amazing than I expected. 
uh, so then I can either scale this down or scale it up you see we get more resolution this way and I actually like other randomization that we got so just do the same for this uh, this let's scale it down something like that and uh, let's see look at this do the same here for the stains and now we should have some steps so um let me get my set up uh, some lighting some basic lighting i think this can be raised a bit uh we can make uh, the room a little bit wider Yeah, just extend uh, the camera just a bit back and I change I'm going to change uh, the dimensions of my camera uh, so that uh, we kind of have the same aspect ratio as uh, they did here something like that and uh, going to get this top wall make it a little bit taller and uh, uh, this back wall I'm going to give actually let me separate it from the floor um, what is the other what is what is the other option to create smooth edge beside beveling edges uh, cause beveling causes too much in polygons causing I don't think I know of any other way of doing that Yeah, I'm not sure I understand either I don't understand the question or I don't think there is a better way than uh, using bevels if you mean um, Edge smoothing edge, edge smoothing. Uh, do you mean like uh, Doing this because this is beveling yeah? And I don't think here we are getting a lot of end guns, so it depends on what you're making Uh, so let's add uh, this window we are also ex move, move uh, this uh, this should have the same material actually should actually be the same object data control L link so we have the same object data And uh, also link you can use bevel shader bevel sh oh yeah there is a material sh option for bevels but I don't think it works in cycle in Eevee so you might be stuck with the bevel options uh, that we already have okay now going to create uh, this window area because I think uh, that's the jewel of uh, this scene let's bring it in yes delete that part and uh, I'm not going to create the window from scratch as I already have a few windows I've made so let me just switch to my uh, let's see do we have windows here now let's go to building parts windows I think this is perfect for this let's add that grab these push them down and 
grab this. Now let's set up some lighting, some basic lighting. First, make this really dark. I'll start with a big area light in the back here. Use contact shadows. Let's see, give it that nice warm feeling. This is so relaxing. The music? Yeah. Hopefully, not too relaxing for you to sleep while the stream is on. But, uh, Now let's add let's see how this looks with lighting. New material. This is going to be an emission shader. Let's see give it can be up like that. Let's turn on some bloom, some screen space reflections. Bila Rola, hi I lived. I liked your channel. I liked your channel very much. I am a spectator from Kaz Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. <laughs> you will be able to you will be able to create a cinematic scene with 3D animation and tracking in future. Uh, I think I can do that. Yeah. So how is Kazakhstan and uh, how are you? I think I can do that half in the future, yeah, maybe. You mean like uh, do a tracked scene? Yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, plant. I have plants, so why not use them? I'll just go into I a library, see if I have some plants. I think I can go into my deco collection and find, uh, where is that? I think they're in my furniture. Plants, collection, plants. There is this, decos. Uh, I think, let's see, Akvis, this. We are fine, I'm glad you agreed. Yeah, I'll try to uh, to do some tracking in the future maybe. But, uh, yeah. Get this plant, uh, place it somewhere here. And uh, also has a stool, seated on a stool, but... Uh, uh, would you please make a video about N-Gons and Triangles issue anyway? Uh, what issues are you having with n-gons and triangles? Like uh, converting triangles to n-gons? I think I have a theory on that. Uh, so you have the, some nice bike lighting here, but uh, we also need another another light uh, to light uh, the entire scene. So I usually add an area light. Yes. Make it the size of other room. Let's see. And that should give us some kind of ambient lighting. Now you could use an HDRI image for this part. It, uh, I think uh, these lights, if you use, if you just use lights instead of HDRI lighting, 
lighting, you have more control over your lighting. So that's why I'm, I'm choosing to use it. Now let's uh, detail other steps a little bit. And uh, since uh, this, these steps are the same object, uh, we can just edit one and uh, all the details will reflect on the other. It's going to use even thickness, even offset. Let me actually have a look at how this is coming out. I'll the profile of this. And uh, what I'm going to do is use a mirror mo modifier so that I can only so that I only work on one side. So use a mirror like so. And uh, just want to work on one thing at a time. So I'm going to get rid of uh, the back side for now and this side as well. And let's start detailing this. I can use a bevel modifier, a bevel control B at bevel this edge and uh, maybe change this a little bit, push it out, shade smooth, auto smooth, auto smooth. So you see, I have my shortcuts set up in quick functions, but uh, this auto smooth function is under your object data normals auto smooth. I think I can add another loop here and another one here. Extrude, maybe bring it down a bit and uh, I can add a bevel modifier and just scale this. Bring it around there, turn on added normals to have some nice detailed steps, but uh, we need to unwrap this again. So it seems it's facing the wrong direction. So just going to UV, rotate this. Character modeling without reference image tutorial. I'm not very good at character modeling, and that's why you don't see me do it a lot. Uh, I think our steps also look a bit too small, so I'm just going to just uh, Extend them just a bit, maybe drag them and then this side I can use uh, this uh, I think it's called as uh, a shear to shear this like that then extrude this then we have our steps Again, we have to use, use unwrap this, but uh, this time I'm just going to add a seam here. Then unwrap. Actually, you know what? I can just UV unwrap this part by itself. And uh, we have our steps. Now, one thing they are lacking, our steps are lacking, as some dirt or kind of wood. I don't know, stains that uh, you see there. So to add in those, I think we can use a grunge map. Just going to grab one here uh, from my grunge map. So why did you study modeling with Blender? Can you suggest courses? I mostly just watched YouTube tutorials like you're doing right now and uh, yeah, so just keep watching tutorials and uh, you'll get better. Uh, if you want to speed up your modeling learning, maybe then you can uh, get a, a course, but uh, usually the same information you get in courses is the same information you get just watching random t 
tutorials, YouTube tutorials. Uh, the only difference is that uh, courses are usually more structured. Yeah, so this is going to be that kind of uh, green stuff growing onto the surface. And I uh, can see this is being mirrored on the material because we're using a mirror modifier here. So what I'm going to do is under the mirror modifier, uh, there is offset. You can offset uh, the, the textures, uh, which is not really giving me what I want. Just want to reduce on the mirror effect, but uh, I guess I'm just making it a little bit, uh, I'm just making it worse. So what we can do instead of using, because we're using, we're using uh, object mapping, that's why uh, this is mirrored. So we can change this to, so from UV to object. And I should have something like that. Do you want to break into TikTok special effects videos are gaining views? Yeah, I think I, I would like to do that. Maybe in the future I'll try to uh, do something like that. But uh, uh, they're like, I don't know. They usually are like, uh, is it 10 seconds or 30 seconds? But uh, the amount of work that goes into them is more than that. So you definitely need some preparation. You can see what we're adding here. It's just that. Now we can add it everywhere. And uh, you can use another car ramp to make it like uh, So something like that. And uh, then we would use that. Here. Okay, seems a little bit too much. Especially we don't want it on the stop surface here. But uh, before we do that, let's first fix a few issues. So I want the roughness of that green stuff to be a bit different. So I already have a mask for that green stuff and uh, we have our roughness here. So I can just duplicate this and uh, use a mask. So this rough, this here is going to, should control uh, the roughness of those parts. Uh, just, I also want to clear it from this surface. So if I go to input geometry, let's look at uh, the normal. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see if I, there is a vector, is it normal? Actually, that's not what we want. If we convert this into a car ramp, you can see we have a blue red and let's see it's actually it's based on uh, the rotation of the object which should be okay because I just want to make sure that it's not based on the rotation of the scene so you can see we have blue red and uh, green somewhere inside here is it the best time to create 3d cartoons with autodex maya at this time do you think Blender will take over the world standard in the future? Yeah, that's uh, a bit difficult. And uh, for Blender will just be cheaping a little bit away from the uh, from the market, but I I don't think it will take over the the world because yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, 
there's a lot of things that are, are, are making studios stay away from Blender. And I think that's a more broad question, a more complicated question to answer. So, and uh, one of the reasons is that um, why Blender can't just take over the world is because uh, there's a lot of years behind uh, tools like Autodesk and uh, companies have already, be, studios have been using those tools for quite a lot for quite a long time and uh, they have built their own tools uh, within their, just within a pipeline that uh, includes Autodesk material rather than uh, Blender material. So, yeah, it's a kind of difficult question to answer. Uh, anyway, so we want to use the blue channel uh, to create a mask of this. And uh, if I just bring this into the normal map, you can see we get this. Actually, I don't know if this is based on the view or just because if I rotate this. Okay, so you can see. No, I'm not really sure if this is going to work here. So let's look for something different. We want a mask that removes uh, this green stuff, stuff on the top of, from the top of the surface. So an easier way to do it, uh, we can just get an input uh, texture, gradient texture. And uh, you can see we have a gradient that goes from up to bottom. And but uh, we can also do, uh, this is based on the object, the generated uh, UVs. But uh, if we try using uh, the object UVs, then we can use uh, the UV of this object uh, to determine the position of the gradient. Okay, thank you for the great lessons. I wish you good career growth. Thank you, thank you to also wish you great career growth. So if we're using our UVs, we can create a new UV, a UV map, a new UV map uh, just for this texture. And uh, we can use it here using input UV. And I select that. And uh, if we start moving this around, you can see that uh, our UV map is changing. So now what we want, we want the top faces, these faces here, I think. So here. And uh, that don't have that green stuff. So we can move them to areas where uh, that gradient is black. So we have a black mask like that. Okay, so one thing I forget, I forgot is that uh, in our array, we are actually offsetting the UV map. So if this array wasn't there, you see that uh, the surface would be black and uh, the bottom part would be white, which would be b great for our masking. But uh, because we're using a UV offset, uh, it's going to, all our objects are going to have a different UV map because it's being offset here. So we have to look for a different way to create a mask. Now, another way I can think of is just using a uh, texture paint, vertex paint, sorry. But uh, that also might have its issues, but I think this might work. So we just select the faces like we did, and then sh go to paint, set vertex colors, and uh, that should set the vertex colors. We just need to go to here. Is it here? And see, just to check the vertex colors. Yeah, so we have set the vertex colors, so we can accept them under vertex. I see, I just have to go back here because I said this vertex colors, but I didn't change the color. So I need to go back here and uh, do it again, but this time giving it a different color. You just make sure that uh, paint, vertex paint. Now let's make sure that uh, we have. 
Okay, so why is this not working? Let me see. Vertex paint. If I see why is this not working? Go to vertex, vertex paint, selected faces, set vertex color. Yeah, so it works. And I can see that uh, all the faces get are the color we want. And now we can use that. We get we can get rid of this and use that as our mask. This is what we have uh, for the materials. And now uh, we can see. So this is the mask we are using. So we just need to subtract this from this. So I can use a math node. Or better, we can use a mix RGB node, color, mix RGB. And just use this factor as factor 2. And uh, we can use, I think it's multiply. Or screen. I see. Ah, sorry, this is supposed to be factor, not alpha. Let's see, multiply. Yeah, that's what we want. And then now, if we use this as the factor, you can see we don't have that anymore on the surface. And uh, we have our steps. So let's go back to the image. Again, we're trying to create this. Now, let's create uh, this pebble, uh, this thing here. I think it starts on the second step. So I can... And what I'm going to do is just make use of uh, this material here. So control L, link material, and uh, uh, sorry, this link material and also link modifiers. Then the other thing is uh, we need to add a mirror. Actually, we get rid of this mirror, but uh, add another mirror uh, which utilizes this as this mirror. You see, we are getting closer and closer. So, for this, let me actually first isolate this for a second. For this, we can start off this, extrude in, bevel this in. Just make sure that uh, the offset is somewhere like that. Out of smooth, then extrude, extrude out, extrude up, scale in, add a loop, scale, bevel. We have something like that. Now these things are too close to each other, so. What we can do is uh, just double this so they appear every three steps. Uh, that also means that we have to reduce uh, the count here. Uh, actually, we made a mistake. Uh, this doesn't have a bevel doesn't have an array is uh, since it's the first pole here which is kind of big like that then this yes extrude scale extrude extrude scale extrude insert using i then extrude again now we can add in a few details here by adding a loop and then beveling it just like that and then 
get this face and then push it up a bit now I don't have a lion head like this and uh, making something like this would take quite some time so we are going to do something different so instead let's try adding a loop here and adding another loop here now what I'm going to do is just adding in adding some small details of mine just to make things a little bit fancy I'm not even sure what I'm going for just making cuts and uh, hoping that uh, things will look cool Can Yeah, that that stuff. Yeah, it's uh, creating that is uh, yeah. We would spend hours and hours. And uh, let's also mirror this. Can bring it up here. The that's a bear, I think. You think? Nah, I think it's a lion. Uh, but uh, maybe a female lion. It is no easy to bear. Uh, let's see. Let me apply actually this mirror so that I first work within here. I'm going to insert this a bit and I'll push it in. You can use mirror with bisect instead of removing vertices. Yeah, I can do that, but uh, the problem with uh, just using the mirror, working with the mirror on, is that uh, you can't really insert things very well. Yeah, looks like a lioness, yeah. Any plans of making a short film? Yeah, I don't really have a budget for a short film. If uh, I'm it would be quite expensive to do. So not in the near future. I'm just going to mind these. Hey, Bobby Y, how are you doing? Nice to see you back. Have you done anything fun? Hello, Dizak, Dizaki. Just trying to bring in some detail into this. Yeah. Good look. Uh, thank you. Don't like how this is not centered, but uh. Just need to unwrap this again. Maxim. Maxim and then unwrap. This is going to be a little bit, yeah, so something like that would be better. Change in Marak, need a tutorial for creating a character and how to make them move. Uh, those are, that would be a lot. Creating a character could, uh, that but uh, the, I think there is a lot of tutorials about that. I'm not very good at character modeling, so that's why you don't see me do a lot of tutorials about that. I didn't really get that interested in uh, character modeling. Uh, for this, we are going to just first get rid of this uh, so that we introduce that greenish uh, stuff there. like that it makes the wood more mature more adulted I guess more of an adult an adult wood uh, anyway so just also going to change uh, the color a bit make it a little bit dark like that just getting in some extra details like that now there's some details that I might be that might be a little bit easy to work here, but uh, instead of detailing detailing these small things, uh, let's first work on the big things, and then we can return back to that after 
we have done most of the other things. So for now, we're just going to use uh, this as a placeholder. And I know what, I think I've created a few details before. And actually, I'm just going to get this and give it a mirror object, a mirror modifier. Just so we have something like this. First, let's give it the same modifiers as this. And uh, then, and then give it a mirror modifier. Okay, so now let's look at uh, doing more detailing on other surfaces. Let me first copy this material to this. So we're going to create this kind of detailed panel here in the back, uh, which should, uh, should be a little bit easier. Looks good, thank you. But uh, before we do that, I think we can just finish the steps with... Would you collab with another 3D artist? Why not? I would be very glad to do, to do that. Uh, but uh, what would we be co collabing on? So let's make uh, this step here. This, uh, this hand, I don't know how it's called. But uh, it's going to use a vector here, subdivide this a few times. Good question, right? Yeah, so I'll be glad to corroborate with anyone, but uh, what are we corroborating on? So uh, let's have, so this is going to be our profile. Just going to select the curve, geometry, object, then select the curve, and you can see we have that. Cla collab in a short animation, that would uh, be a good challenge. On a short animation yeah so you would need no when people talk about short animations yeah it's they make it seem much easier than it is because uh especially if you're working you're doing a collab with someone who is in a different country or a different continent moreover other new because how are you going to share the files are uh, these files are usually going to be in gbs and uh Yeah, there's a lot of issues with that. It's it's not as easy as uh, it might uh, look. You need a good story. Uh, this the story will not be the issue because uh, that uh, that's that wouldn't be that hard to to make. Uh, I mean, you can even hire someone to write for your story if you can't come come up with with a good one, but. Uh, how exactly are you going to work is the main issue. And uh, it also has to be, uh, you have to have the same skill level and uh, same skill level, but uh, different skills, if you know what I mean. So one of you has to be good at uh, character modeling unless you're going to buy the characters. So that's also an option, but uh, if you're going to make a short movie, you want to, you want your main character to be, to be kind of custom made, your own made, your own make. Because if you just buy them off of a 3D site, off of a, a platform, a different platform, then what is stopping someone else from also doing the same thing, and uh, you will end up with uh, the same character as your main character for for different movies, and they are looking the same. And this usually isn't a problem for kind of live action movies, but uh, for 3D movies, uh, this 
for CGI movies, this is a kind of a big problem because yeah, people don't expect you to have the same looking uh, characters look the same, especially if it's not a sequel or if the movies are not related. Who is your favorite YouTube artist? You mean a 3D artist? I really watch a lot of random things, so I don't think I, I really have. And uh, most of the times when I'm watching YouTube, uh, I'm watching time lapses, non tutorials. So usually, and the time lapses, you're not really, you don't really see the face of the person creating the art. So, and uh, that shouldn't matter, but uh, yeah, I guess then, yeah, I don't really, really look at the names. Of, and uh, most of them are just random videos uh, that I'm watching. I'm rarely watching one video from one YouTube channel. Yeah, you get, when you are learning 3D, you get to a point where watching step-by-step -step tutorial is just too slow for you. So you, you just enjoy watching time lapses more uh, because they get to the point faster and uh, you learn quite a lot from uh, time lapses than uh, you you would learn uh, from a video. Thanks for the answer. Ah, no problem. I think we can add a few extra details. In here. What is this? I think I got subdiv subdivide, subdivide this so that, yeah, something like that. Now this just looks bad here, this uh, circle thing here. So we need a better way to make, to make it look more appealing. I first wanted to do live action, short move, live action shots with motion tracking VFX. That's uh, what happened then? Uh, wh why did you stop? Was it, did you find it uh, like I, was it a lot of work? Uh, you see, I want these corners to be rounded, but uh, because I added in this detail, it is messing with uh, uh, the bevel modifier. So I'm just going to get rid of it so that I can retain my rounded corners there. And uh, if I want, I can just, let me see. Actually, let me first bring it back. Just isolate this for a second. I don't like how this circle looks. I'm going to get rid of this circle just so we can maintain uh, the bevel. Okay. Uh, I can also just detail it, do a basic detailing like uh, instead, instead, push that in. It's not the most in interesting detail, but it will do. I'm not a good videographer, <laughs> and uh, you do really need to be a good videographer if you're going to do live actions. Why do you choose Blender instead of Maya or ZBrush? Because Blender is free and uh, you're not really committing to a lot if you're using Blender uh, in terms of money. So if it turned out that uh, I didn't want to continue to do 3D, 3D models, well, it's not a big loss because I've only spent, what, zero dollars? So yeah, but uh, if you want to, do ZBrush. If you want to learn ZBrush, you have to commit uh, some money to it. Uh, there are not a lot of tutorials as much as uh, there is Blender. And uh, if you're learning ZBrush, it means you also have to learn other 3D packages because ZBrush is not a complete 3D package. Why did you learn bro uh, Blender, brother, director design? 
you ask, uh, from YouTube, like you're doing. Blender is OP, Blender is free, Blender is a lot of stuff. Your asset library is crazy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, I don't know how, I'll, I don't even think I can uh, work without using it, because it does help me a lot, quite a lot. And uh, talking about the asset browser, asset library, I can come back to this later here because it still needs quite a lot of work. Let's start working on these cornices, these details, wall details. And uh, why did I bring up the asset library for this? Uh, because it would enable me to add in details quite easily uh, since I've made pre-made some of those details already. So let's start with uh, this, a simple uh, block. Let me see, let's, let me see. Actually, I'm not seeing correctly. Is I see some of the details that are in here. Uh, the, it's not necessary, really necessary to use the asset library here, but uh, if I wanted, I could, I have some pre-made decos, some pre-made cornices. I think they're in my decos. Uh, surely, where are they? I can't remember where I put them, but uh, and uh, they're not. It's not going to be necessary to have to use it, so I'm not going to use it. And, uh, let me borrow this material here. Control link material, and I think it's a good color for our wall. So this wall starts around here and pushes back. Do you guys have any news about uh, the Blender Asset, Asset Browser that uh, was supposed to be released? Because yeah, it's been a while and uh, haven't had anything new about it. And I thought uh, the Asset Library I had created wasn't going to be very useful after the Blender, the Blender, the Blender Asset Browser, as the built-in Asset Browser was announced, but uh, now we're going in one year, and it hasn't been re fully released. So, yeah, I'm glad I did make my own version because I would also be waiting for quite some time if I didn't. So I'm going to make this, give this a simple bevel. Your modeling skills is really good. Why don't you work in a, at a film industry or game industry? Because uh, first of all, yeah, my modeling is good, but uh, it's not movie ready good or game ready good. Uh, maybe game ready for these indie games uh, that I, I would make myself. But uh, yeah, the requirement for, for movie modeling are just insane. I've looked up I've looked uh, looked them up and uh, yeah, the standards uh, they they need you to meet are quite high. And um, I'm very good at just getting things to look good, but uh, if you strip them and uh, look at, uh, I just, I guess I'm very good at making things render good, uh, but uh, if you look at the mesh itself, it's not the most efficient way to model. And uh, movies really want you to be very efficient in how you model things. Uh, so I guess here we can use, let me see, those even. Just do some detailing.
Hello, Tim May, Kotamka. Yeah, so Bobby, why are you saying that uh, the is coming up in 2.3? Yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't be very confident about that because uh, it was promised for Blender 2.2.93, 2 2.9, I don't know which version are we on. It was promised for this version, it didn't come. And I understand why. Uh, because uh, you can't really add dates on uh, on programming. It's it's very difficult to to be exact when you are going to fully release uh, a software project. But. Uh, we are in 2.93. Yeah, it was supposed to be released in this version, but uh, yeah, it's not there. And uh, it has been released in the daily rebuilds and then removed uh, a few times. So, yeah. So we have some nice details there. Now we just need to add these ones. Thank you, Tania, uh, Tanmai. Okay, so just adding these details. Uh, so let, instead of just creating these details, I'm just going to use my asset library. I think under decals or furniture, I have some picture frames because yeah, picture frame like this, and I'm just going to add it and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, it has uh, those details already in. And scale it up, rotate it. Is it's in there? It's in there. You just have you just had to si to sign your assets. Uh, it was supposed to be accessible under. Here, but I can see it's not there. There should be a uh, an asset browser here, but it's not there. That's what I mean. Okay, so so these are going to be those details there, and. Uh, Yes. Scale individual origins. Just give this the same material as the wall. Like so. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad that uh, you guys are liking the stream. Uh, if you haven't liked, you please leave a like just so it, it does help out with the YouTube. Uh, if you look closely, uh, there is some kind of uh, wallpaper in these. So let's create a material for that. So let's, uh, let me this time work in the shading layout. 
so that I have more area to work with. Just bring uh, this back. I already have a wallpaper material, so I'm just going to use that. Download that. I think this is going to be. Uh, so just select this face, assign this. Yes, UV unwrap this again. Uh, hopefully, this is stylable. Yeah, great. And thank you, Ninglan, for subscribing. Really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new here and uh, you haven't subscribed, uh, that would be amazing too, if you could subscribe. So we have this. It's already looking good, but uh, we can even make it better by mix it, mixing it with a grunge map. Uh, something like uh, resources, grunge, Granges and uh, let's get. Let me just use. I don't know this. Hello, Elias. I'm already subbed. Ah, you're amazing. Then, if you're already subbed, that thank you. Just going to use this as a factor. Just to add in a little bit details, detail, and uh, we can use this as. A roughness map. Yeah, if it's too reflective, we can mix it again with this and then add. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're liking what you see. Thanks for all the tutorials. You are amazing. Thank you to Inca, Inca Tez Studio. So is that uh, like uh, your own studio or are you just hoping to make something like that? And uh, also going to add, okay, this should be origin geometry, origin geometry. pushed in just a bit like that and I'm also going to make it a bit darker so I can add may play maybe play with the color a bit may change this to color I want these to be, if I scale them. Just started, so hopefully. Ah, great. So what are you making? Is it TV, commercials, or just simple, or just animations? How long have you been using Blender? About... I don't know, I started using Blender around 2011, but uh, not consistently. I've just I restarted using Blender consistent. I started using Blender consistently after uh, they introduced Blender EV. Uh, because then I could sell my art easier without having to wait cycles to render one frames, one frame with uh, for hundreds of time. I don't know. I think uh, we need to make this a bit longer. And uh, I think we can also, I don't know, I wanted to use Amit Occlusion for, for this. Let's try using a bump.
basically animation and uh, short films for now. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, how are you planning to monetize that? How are you planning to make money out of making animations? Uh, are you going to release them as, I don't know, like, uh, I don't, how would you actually make money from an animation? Because uh, that's one of the things that have stopped me from making any short movies or th things like that because yeah, I like to, I love making animations. I would love to make an animation as just for, for the case of the art, but uh, it's very expensive. So you need to kind of, you, you, need, a, you need to really have a good reason. You, you have to uh, just don't really know how to use the right words, but uh, mm, the, you have to, how is it called? You have to justify the cost. Uh, you can't just do something because you you love it. You, you, it's really expensive to do animation, to do a short movie. So, how do you plan to? Hello, I'm a small, I'm a small update to Blender. Was yesterday. Go to Blender homepage. Let me see what is there. Now, what update? I, I don't really see much here. Uh, in the experimental version, so because I don't really see much. Release candidate T T T T. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Yeah, you know I don't like how this uh, is looking. With maybe it's too unsaturated. Point three is the update. Point three is, I'm not sure what you mean. Minor changes or bug fixes. Ah, I see. Okay, this is what we have. And uh, I also have other details. Go to experimental. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I went to experimental. Just daily builds and uh, there is uh, how is it called? Blender new features. Week is it wiki? Mm, is it release notes? Yeah. So let me see if there is anything new here. Geometry nodes. Attributes. Yeah, as I said, I find, oh, so this is, ah, this is for the file browser, general changes very minor changes. This is old mm, rigging. I don't do rigging. A gliss pencil. I, I just gliss pencil is just a different thing completely. Uh, it's like a different application. Okay, this is some new f stuff. Is it? No, this is also old stuff. Ambient occlusion. A complete rewrite was wa was done to fix over darkening artifacts. Hmm. Uh, most of what is what I see is uh, yeah, 
not that new, not that different. Do you work, do you have a platform where I, where I can see your work? Well, I've made a new website. Uh, it's not just for my work, but uh, if you have anything you want to share, any renders you want to share, you can just go to Blender and Beyond. Uh, you can do a quick sign up. There is, it's just, uh, the sign up is simply just to stop for people from spamming and uh, other people who are not, who just send, send in robot, rob, uh, bots to kind of spam the site. So it's just a simple sign up, you just, enter an, your email and a, a password you want and I post any image you want and uh, if it's not anything uh, bad I can uh, approve it and uh, you show up but uh, you can see some of the renders I've made on the stream and uh, other videos directly here uh, what was I making I'm forgetting okay yeah basically we plan on doing some VFX shots this December and we have some few sponsors already wow that's nice that's really nice so you are doing serious business it means because uh i found that uh, there are a lot of hobbyists uh in uh but uh which is also okay fun so let me see what else can we put in here I'll let me go to my building parts. Sailings. I have different cornices here. Where to get the asset library? So the asset library, I'll actually, let me just get it directly from, let me get it here. Yeah, you can see, uh, there is the asset library, the quick decals. Let me just leave a link directly here if you want to get it. Non secure website. Uh, is it what is? <laughs> yeah, but it just needs an SSL, uh, which I haven't worked on. Basically, it's uh, the HTTPS that comes. It's, it doesn't make the website more secure. It just, yeah. It's a, it's a new requirement for most websites. So if it, if it doesn't have the SSL, I think mine just expired. I don't know why it's, uh, it shouldn't be showing this. It should show a padlock like this because I have an SSL. Maybe it's, it's not set up correctly or yeah, I, I should fix that because it, it scares a few people. It scares people's. Okay, so let's see what else, what else, what else can I add? I don't like how this, Kind of looks a bit. No, it doesn't seem okay. Much better. Yeah, I was looking for. No problem, Elias. Thank you for coming around. Uh, let's see. Roof. Walls. Yes, I have some nice details uh, that I could use here uh, because they match uh, the setting. Uh, this here could work, but uh, I think I have something even better. Uh, this here, it has that those nice details in, and I can just reuse this material here, or this material. But, uh, it's too sharp. The edges are too sharp, so let me add a bevel. Let me change this to weight. Shift
Okay, I want to have these rounded with a bevel, so I'm going to give them a weight, a bevel weight, and I change this to weight, I guess. And now this can be uh, this surface. Let's see. You are jamming in the background. Uh, do you mean my audio is off or my internet is lagging? Let me see. Uh, performance okay so this internet seems to be good okay I'm not sure what you mean oh uh, what is jamming is it because uh, it looks like uh, things are okay on my side see some nice detail and I can now add a mirror modifier just to work for this other side. And that comes with that. Yes. And uh, can also add in these cornices. Uh, let me just grab this and uh, let me add it here. Yes. Give it this wall material. And then all I have to do now. is grab these faces here. Just pull that, grab this, pull that. And now at the corner here, I just have to use uh, this. Uh, sounds good, great. Uh, maybe it was uh, the internet, bug might have bugged out for a second. I can just use this, align it. Like so, then extrude on the other side like that. Grab this, I think it's around here. Then we have a perfect, I think, looking conis like that. Just make sure that uh, it's UV unwrapped. Just adding some nice details in. Good music, equally jamming, equal jamming. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, this is a playlist from the Audio Studio Library channel. Just going to mirror this. So we have something like that. And obviously this would be Uh, maybe this should extend a further up like like so because those are some long ladders but I uh, guess I can really have nothing to do so let me just go with those um let's put in these details let's first go back to the reference image and uh Look at this side.
Okay, it has started raining my side, so if you hear background noise, uh, that's it, it's not really me. Uh, and uh, let's uh, look, at for, look for other details we can add in. Let's go to my, let's see what I have in medieval. Medieval details. You know, actually, you know what, I can use this guy for this detail here. Because I think this area here looks a bit too plain. Big glassy chandelier will look great in there. Yeah, I think something ha like hanging in here, that would be amazing. The problem is if it doesn't render glass very well. Have any assets in your asset library? Uh, do you mean does the add-on come with... Uh, Uh, let me see where is that, where is... Uh, if you're asking whether this asset library add-on comes with any objects in, in the asset library, no, it doesn't. It, it's just the add-on and uh, you just add your own assets. But uh, if you want to get assets, you can become a Patreon and uh, request uh, those assets and uh, any assets uh, that I have and I will send them to you. So let's give this the same material and see. Okay. It, it's better than nothing, I guess. Now maybe. Maybe make it make this base a bit thick. Let's mirror. Please, any help on the question above? Uh, I don't think I saw your question. I need help on bionic, comp bionic compositions. Like, I have a character that I want to add some robot model on and on just to make her look sci fi. Um, I think. You might need, you might want to look into the Hadops add-on. It's a very good for detailing hard surfaces if your sci-fi character is a hard surface. Uh, so here, at the end, think of the curve. Uh, this is going to be aligned or vector then just grab so this is going to rotate around let's use a vector here So uh, subdivide. So you can see yeah can you guys still see, hear me because it's really raining here and I know let me just do this
So it seems I was muted. Yeah, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. I was actually speaking, but uh, my yeah, I was on mute. Thank you for yeah. Yes. Anyway. Good to have contact though. Um, to have contact, I'm not sure what you mean there. Anyway, so let's, no, I don't, there is something about this that I, uh, that is really turning me off, I, I don't know. Uh, no worries, ah, no problem. Let's see. So I think this misses, there's something about this painting that is missing, so Let's see what I can do to fix it. I need some ambient material. You see, those, I want to darken the edges a bit. But I don't really have a good texture for that. Actually, this is this should work. I just have to uh, create a new map and use it here. Input UV and uh, let me go to the UV editor. Sometimes it feels like uh, the UV editor and the image viewer is, one of them looks redundant because they almost do the same thing. I'm not sure why they made it so that uh, they're two different uh, things because I don't, see a dif I don't see any difference between uh, the UV editor and the image editor except that uh, you, you can't edit within the UV editor, the, within the UV, within the image viewer which I don't understand why that is the case. Uh, let me just use a math note here. Power. Okay, that should give me the dark corners uh, that I wanted. Let me first get rid of this. And I just blend it over this. Okay, it should be the other way around. Yeah, and I think that's uh, much better. Image editor, UV editor. Okay, so we're just missing some detailing. Let's see what can we we use. Uh, I think I can bring in some doors. Uh, they have some nice details. So if I go to my, f is it furniture? Doors. I think. Hmm. Maybe sword or axe in there. Yeah, I think I have. Do I have an axe? I definitely do have a sword. I made it a few days ago and I do have a shield uh, what I don't have maybe is an axe I think this could work really well here a door somewhere in here yeah so let's add an axe after this I'm sorry not an axe because I don't have an axe uh, this should be the same material as So 
sorry, what add-on are you using? Uh, I'm using the asset library add-on. This is my own add-on, uh, which you can get. I, I wish there was a way to pin comments on uh, on YouTube. But uh, if you want to get it, you can find it on, uh, let me just get you the link. Yeah, you will see all the add-ons uh, that I'm using here. I think it's looking much better day, minute by minute, and closer to what this looks like here, which I think is great. So how many of you have been with us uh, from the start of the stream? I would like to know if you, are, if you were here when the stream was beginning, or at least a few, a few minutes before the, the stream was beginning, when we were starting the project. Could you type a one? Uh, I'd like to see. Uh, let's see what else could we add in here. I have this frame here, which I think should replace the frame we have for this. Believe, pop, ah, great. But you haven't said anything in chat, I think. I don't remember seeing you say anything. That's, a, that's great to know. Great, thank you. And uh, by the way, I'm tr I try to have these live streams uh, on uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday. Oh, sorry, Wednesday. Uh, Thursday. Um, Friday and uh, Sunday. The only time I'm, I, won't, I don't think I'll be streaming is mostly Mondays, most Mondays and uh, Tuesday because I'm, I have other projects I'm working on. So I think uh, this makes it look more rich.
yeah than what we had before just look for other things no plants uh, i think we, i need to go into my building parts and look for some walls i think I have a few things here that uh, might look quite nice here. So let me try this. Ah, uh, this is, I think, well detailed uh, for to be part of something here. So. So most of you have what we're not here in the beginning. Oh, that's okay. That's uh, great. Or most of you just don't like typing. Ah, uh, that's also another thing. All right. So let me use the same material here. Now it just gives that nice detail to the thing. And uh, let me just make sure that uh, this is UV unwrapped. Let me just look at uh, the UV map here it's really not great unwrap gives us whatever this is i see just have to properly uv unwrap this so this can use box mapping or just be you just going to Unwrap this like so. I'm just going to write unwrap one piece by piece and see. Let's see this. Unwrap that. Get rid of this end gone and this. Okay. Yeah gives us better detail that way. Maxim, Maxim. Should do the same here, but uh, that's, yeah. Let's make this a bit Let me just make this a bit rough. Thank you, thank you. Okay, where have I put it? Where did this go? Okay, it's here. Now we just need to mirror this. I think I need another add-on that makes some of these things under button. So it's like a, to apply a mirror on this object, I have to do a lot of steps instead of just doing one button click. So um, I think I will make an add-on that uh, makes it a little bit easier to do this because I have to repeat a lot of steps are found uh, which is not really that awesome. I think I can even just join this like that. Like this step here shouldn't be shouldn't take that many clicks. I think I can also reuse these. 
Now this time around, I just need one piece. to go back to our reference so I think yeah, it's becoming closer and closer to what we're looking at here Uh, this time around we can change this material and uh, this can be okay, what is this supposed to be okay instead of being that we can make it actual wood and see how let's try this yeah it doesn't look bad We might just need to rotate this 90 degrees, maybe make it a little bit darker like that. I think I need to make this Bring this here, make our night a bit maybe pull the camera just back a bit. I think this could uh, add actually this here might add some nice detail yeah just make sure I'm backing up this project going to push this back just a little bit as well and if you look at uh, how I detail these things you can see that uh, I don't really do a lot too much Sometimes just adding tiny details can uh, make quite a big difference. Like say, just going to round, just adding some nice bevel detail in here. by adding a bevel to this and see it 
just experimenting with what might look good also going to duplicate this just bring it over here and I just uh, get rid of this side and uh, see if I can fit this in here for added detail but uh, it should use uh, the same material as this Yeah, thank you Jok uh, for subscribing really appreciate it yeah, and uh, again if you are just getting here uh, it would be amazing if you could leave a like maybe even subscribe uh, that would be amazing now this detail is missing on the other side so let's make sure to add it mirror then this and uh, why is this uh, like this okay I'm not sure why this are not exactly the same position okay, maybe it's using a different mirror object instead of what I wanted to use no And uh, this should also red carpet would be cool okay let's add that mirror first mirror this and uh, that is okay so there is another add-on uh, that, uh, that I made I'm sure you have already seen it so it's uh, the cloth library add-on let me activate it now it comes with a lot of things it comes with clothes what and uh, one thing it comes with another thing it comes with is the uh, curtains and beddings which includes carpets so let's add that see so these are like rugs which are uh, I guess they wouldn't be under the steps hello soldier cords how are you doing I think I could have it somewhere here uh, the wrinkles might be a bit heavy so let me just Let's see if I can smooth some of these out, some of the wrinkles out using a smooth modifier. But, uh, let me just leave that detail in. And uh, for the material, you want a red carpet? We already have a material for that. I'll just link this. Now this doesn't really look like a red carpet but uh cycles no this is EV you can see that's why it's uh, interactive like that otherwise my computer can't really handle cycles so let's just make this a little bit let me just make sure this is unwrapped uh, I think this uh, this needs a second material mm -hmm. 
your PC specs. Uh, let me see if I can show them. Nah, it's not a fancy PC, it's just 8 GB RAM, 60, uh, sorry, uh, 3 GB of graphics card, that's a GTX 1060. Nothing fancy. Oh, super amazing. Ah, okay. Now let's make it look red, which is it already does. It's uh, too reflective. Oh, okay, I did a mistake. One mistake I made was not making these materials different from this. Let's try having this, giving the steps the same material, I think, uh, that uh, makes it better. Or something, seen? Ah, thank you. Okay, this here should have a separate material as well. Yes going to fix a few things for this material. Okay, everything looks nice there. Let's uh, maybe make this less powerful. Uh, the roughness, I think, looks too reflective. Yes, change the color, make it more reddish. Maybe not that red. I have a 570 4GB. It seems I want to switch to NVIDIA. Yeah, I think NVIDIA has a lot of options. I'm not very fam familiar with, uh, is it, is that Ryzen or Radeon? I'm not sure. Just use mostly NVIDIA products, so I'm not very familiar with anything else. Date 90 degrees. So this is seated on a table, on a stool that we haven't created. I uh, guess we can do that. What else do we add? I think we are really close uh, to the same look. Maybe what we could do is make these a little bit thick. Are these these here? Uh, so they come out within the window. So I'll just grab this. Just grab these. So that uh, they come through as 
in the silhouette. Yeah, something like that. Now, so in this version, they didn't add any furniture, but uh, since we have furniture, old books, do I have any old books? Let me see. Uh, that would be in my decals. Uh, in my decals library. Can anybody tell the difference? <laughs> if you're struggling to tell the difference, uh, that, uh, <laughs> uh, that would be amazing, man. It means we have done a good job if you can't tell the difference. And I think uh, this wall here has to be a bit lower. Uh, so that. And I'm flattered if you can't tell the difference, man. It's. Uh, it took us a while to get here, but uh, we got there. So, and if I go back to my building parts, ah, uh, yeah, Corosso Whitey. Most of the viewers are lurkers. They do, they rarely chat, so they just watch. I just like to watch. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't know if some of you have picked up on the joke there, the adult. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to get, I have something that uh, could work very well for this part. Maybe we can add where is You can add this uh, for uh, the balcons there, but uh, I don't know how it's going to look, so let's try. Ctrl L. So all I want give it a mirror. I have a GIF, GeForce RTX AMA with 96 GB of RAM. Reaper, Reaperson, Person Ma, Machi TV. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's impressive, man. That's impressive. So how long do you think it would take to render something like this in cycles with your rig? Okay. Let us get rid of this. Then get rid of Can add an array to this. Oh, 
โอเคอ่าอิทซิมส์ไอ้อักเสบเดนทัลลี่อ๊อบอ่าดิเลตเอ็ดอันอ็อบเจกต์ไอ้ฮาร์ดเฮียแล้วโอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริปฟินด์บัตส์โอเลมีทริป
Well, I imagine uh, the house flooded with water, lo or a vortex appeared in the middle of the room. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool, but uh, implementing something like that, yeah. Yeah, so I have books, but uh, they're not really old. So they, would be, they wouldn't fit. I have candles, more plants, sofa seats, tables. Let's go into single objects and see. Nothing here fits. Have plants, tables. Let's look at furniture and see if there is anything we can add here. Beds, chairs, uh, echoes. Mm. Doors. Furniture. Mm. Where to paste the link? Um, you know, what? okay. So it seems YouTube doesn't allow you to. If YouTube doesn't allow you to paste links, you can either go to the Discord. Uh, which is asking me to log in. Let me just give you an invite. Just uh, let me just make sure that it doesn't this. So you can paste it. Paste it here. Let's look for more interesting angles. Okay, this isn't too bad. Look at that. Yeah. Mm, and uh, so we f we are soon finalizing this. So we are two hours and uh, forty five minutes, and I think we are somewhere close to what we have here. I don't know how long they made this. They took, how, m how much time they took to make this. But, uh, I'm going to guess we did it faster. Tables. No, I think I'm going to lose this chair. Uh, so that we retain uh, the mirror. The symmetry. For the case of symmetry, just going to also add another one here and grab this plant, duplicate it. And on the other side. So we can do more lighting. Let's try giving this more light. Maybe that's daytime. And then this super night time. You can play with the color of the light make things even much I use I usually use blender for modeling and then use unreal engine for for can't wait for five yeah so unreal engine five looks I downloaded it have you tried uh, the 
have a better version because uh, it's what I'm using uh, for when I want to work in Unreal. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually amazing. Pulling back uh, this. I make this a bit. I'm not sure what to do with these carpets because maybe make them a bit smaller. So yes, you are, how are you finding it? Is it as amazing as you expected it to be? Or is it just a meh? I think we have our final image. Maybe let's add in a slight animation. So this thing is floating in the air. And uh, this area needs a little bit of work as well. Let's add a table and then call it a day. Uh, tables. I wish I had a round table, but uh, I guess one of these has to do. Just to keep consistent with the just going to make this material are uh, the same wood like that. I think we're going to start a little bit from here. See if I Blender displacement showed in my computer and I eh? slowed my computer and I don't know why I still learning as a still I still I switched Unreal I was done so fast but height maps are going to be things now. So you're saying that uh, Unreal is much better than Blender? Because you're saying that I uh, switch from Blender to... Eh? Blender switch slowed down your computer because of height maps and now you're switching to Unreal? Oh, which is okay, I guess. But... Oh. Hello, Yasin. Yasin, 3Ds, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, though we are ending it. Just making the final touches before we sign out. Mm. 
actually we need another one here I'm doing amazing. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great as well. Let's see if we make this a bit wider. Uh, this volume. Let's add a sun and see how it would affect the scene. That's going to be it. I do you use the new K cycles? I haven't tried it out. I have not tried it out. Hello Rizo AR. So you are just arriving as we are leaving. But uh, how was your day? How is everything? And uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Anyway, that's what we have created. We started by... Uh, so the attempt was to create this and uh, I guess you would be the judge whether we have managed to get to achieve our goal. But for me, that is going to be it for today and i'll see you in the next video but uh, if you want to watch the time lapse uh, you can uh, go to the blender templates channel uh, which is my second channel and uh, you can watch uh, the time lapse over there i'll be uploading it in a few it will be uploaded tomorrow but uh, the previous live stream we created last yesterday is already there and uh, maybe for you who might for anyone who might have missed it let me just open what we created in the previous stream
yesterday's stream so that you can get an idea of what uh, we usually do here. So uh, this is not <laughs> what we created, but uh, this is the reference. And uh, yeah, so this was made in Unreal Engine using Megascan assets, uh, using Megascan quick source asset. And uh, this is what we managed to recreate in Blender within uh, two, many, two hours of live stream. I was going to compile a few shaders here before it shows. I guess it would be a great point at this point uh, to show you some of my add-ons, uh, the asset library and the butter. Uh, okay, this is taking a while to compute the shaders. It's taking its time. Yes, because I have a lot of things running. Let me just give it a few seconds before I switch out. When is your next stream? Uh, tomorrow, the same. Uh, tomorrow, um, I want around this time, around two hours before this time, because uh, that's when I started the stream. Seems I have some mix mixing textures, which I should fix by going and external find missing textures. Yeah, so this is what we created in the previous stream, and uh, this we are copying this or trying to recreate this uh, inside Blender. And uh, yeah, if you, you can see, we did a lot of cheating using my new add-on called uh, Texture Decals, or Quick Decals. And uh, basically what it does, it just makes you create easy textures. You can see, uh, this is just a simple plane uh, that I slapped onto the surface uh, to add in some uh, some dirt and it's the same decal I'm using here and all these can be adjusted so maybe if I wanted to make this a different color very simple and I can see it makes texturing quite easy and simple instead of having to figure figure it with uh, Bobby why nice work ah, thank you thank you and see it's what I'm using here I used it in a lot of places. If you watch uh, the live stream, so you can see all of these. Let me just show you how everything would look if uh, you want using those decals. So if I switch them off, I can just switch off one by one. Yeah, that's not a decal. So. can see uh, so uh, that's a deco this is a deco uh, this is a deco that is a deco that is a deco these details most of them are just decals and I can see it, uh, this would be very plain without them so with them uh, that's how everything looks and uh, so if you want to get the add-on let me just leave uh, the link so you can check out all the add-ons I make on this page if you're interested but uh, other than that thank you for coming around I'll see you tomorrow same time thank you